on four European crowns since Ulster last lifted silverware. And if Ulster, as I said, are to challenge okay, that domestic on, and European dominance, then they've got to sit. Top of the table clash, first against second, coming in to round go, nine please, of the you. United Rugby Championship. Side by Ryan Baird, van der Fleer on the open side flank, oh, Conan at number eight, Keelan Norris on the bench, and James Lowe after a longer than anticipated injury layoff because of that calf problem into the thick of Sir, need to slow the ball down but they need to stay legal as well and they obviously feel that they're interfering with the ball much on their ability to, to win secure ball and his ability to kneel clutch kicks it's an early sight at the posts it's a low trick Billy Burns and John Cooney both got the week off last week when Zebra and in Belfast and please gets up in front of Ryan Baird who on a single lift and just a little bit unlucky but great kick off. Ronan Kelleher keeps his place with Dan Sheehan on the bench and straight away into Jimmy Osborne who's been shifted around that Leinster back line a lot this season. The park with Jimmy O'Brien coming on to it at full speed unfortunately for a Leinster point of view don't get the didn't get the kindness of bounce but uh, it's obviously something that gives him park just needs to get away a little bit quicker. This man Tom Stewart tonight Rob Herring on the Ulster bench. In five Mall. Really good game last week. Helped himself to a couple of tries off that prolific Ulster Mall. Still great. Timing's good on the tackle. Stuart Moore always full. A little dummy to, to Osborne to give himself more time and obviously with left foot against the wind just drills it low and brings up. Introduction to senior rugby was to throw the most audacious offload you'd ever see. There's Tom Stewart again, gets this Ulster side moving and that attempt to tackle by Gary Ringrose on Stuart McCluskey and there's the footwork that Bernard was talking about, about Mike Laurie, he's electrifying, you can't take your eye off him for a second. Now they move it into Morty Moore. Billy Burns and on it goes to Andrew Warwick. It's Warwick, Tom Stewart and Morty Moore in that front row this evening. Treadwell, it's good hands, lovely little short pass, delayed pass to Stewart. He thought about releasing it this way to Ethan McElroy, perhaps good work. he could have. Ulster recycle and reload again, and on they go with the captain Ian Henderson. It's pass from, from Biddy Burns just there into the hole. You know, in hindsight, he regret not giving Ethan oh. McElroy a chance. Oh. <laughs> from the kicking tee this season, 59 points in the URC. And he's heading ever closer to 900 points. Deep he does go into that Ulster 22. It's that man, Nick Timoney, but he was hunted down. Really good kick chase. It's the athleticism and speed that Baird brings, and it's charged down from it's that low. Timoney from the kickoff, but here, watch James Ryan on the blind side. Obviously, getting to the left foot, it is a low kick, but you know. He's on Billy Burns, doesn't make ground outside the Ulster 22. Prime position this for. The likes of Gary Ringrose and Hugo Keenan on his shoulder. In goes the Leinster captain. He was well put down. Recycled to the fly half again. Clutched by Jamie Osborne. In comes the tackle of James Hume. Alalatoa this time. James Lowe. And standing in it. First receiver. Going to play out the back of two forwards. He'll be all right by the time Yeah, and Gary slightly overran it. It's knocked on in the end by, by Ross Byrne. So when it goes from John Cooney, yes. a penalty at the last scrum, and that one's a little bit messy. The pressure on the nine was very good again from the Leinster point of view. Tackle! Keenan is met by McCluskey and Mike Lowry. On they go this time to the oh, formidable three. presence of Jason Jenkins. I think it just hit the foot of... Well, it's see not here. so much weight, please, on the bind. Not so much weight. Thank you. Yeah. It was... Well, it's good show by the Lancer. We're going to get a penalty here. That's a big moment. Really good. And away goes Coleman looking to capitalise on the energy. And then... Uh, the Got dominance gone. for that time, you just see Marty Moore's a little bit high on the right-hand side. And Lancer, 16 feet, working together. A huge surge of power. And just a man to look at the angle Marty yeah, sent in on his head towards him. Simpson Park, no time whatsoever. Get clean, quick ball. McCluskey, and on they go now to Stuart Moore. Look at that for a tackle by Ryan Baird. Catch it, 
Um, they're losing a lot of meters in these kick battles. That's a nasty looking forced into a, at least a temporary replacement. 20 minutes in. Was it that, uh, well, was it that tackle by who came together at real pace? Ooh, yeah, it's, it's head on head, yes. isn't it? So this is it. Okay, so point of contact is... With 14 players, Keen Healy is going to be shown a red card by Christoph Ridley, the referee, for a head-on-head. Head. Right ...towards touch. You can see all the Leinster bodies angling towards the touch, but Herring, he's so calm. He knows exactly the right moment to break away, and it, it looks easy, but... Oh, he struck that very well. Will it get there? Brilliant from Belfast. They've got a little bit of a breathing space now. Yeah, top side was that flat? Was it forward? Billy Burns makes good yardage. Was that a high tackle? And was that locked on? Yes to the last of those questions. Yes. It's a high tackle. It's just a penalty. Just a penalty. Just short. Cooney can dig it out. They're queuing up now. Can they drive over? They got the latch on. Good, resolute defence for now. But Treadwell will get there, and Kieran Treadwell will score again. The outside doesn't over. So we're trying to get yeah, a, fine, thank you. a penalty against. That's another perfect strike from John yeah, Cooney, full of confidence. Good. They're applying significant scoreboard pressure, 17 points to three, 10 minutes to half time. Two tries to the good kind of clean, quick ball, and up it goes from Ross Byrne. Back twice off a of Leinster hand, Ulster hand rather, and then it's Mike Laurie who's the unfortunate Ulster player on the receiving end of that. Ross Byrne needs quick hands and he finds them to get it away to Hugo Keenan. Gibson Park to Conan now. Good tackle from Treadwell. Alan Atoa. Leinster rearguard has looked assured. They're working really hard to cover the ground and keep the spaces. Timoney them deep. As they can do, Murray's got McElroy outside, Osborne, the only line of defence, the pass is away, and all the way in goes Ethan McElroy. A third Ulster try, absolute classic. Awareness of where the space is, you see here, Jason Jenkins trying to get his hands free, but <laughs> turn over and then just go to win, and Jack Conan just gets beaten for speed here. But this isn't easy, you got to fix, you got to draw, Osborne tries to sit off, eventually he has to commit. You're not going to catch Eaton McRoy from there. Over there. And because obviously Leinster took off a winger for Keen Healy, there's no one coming across in the backfield there. So once you make that initial line break yeah. and you execute that 2v1, 